Hey buddies, so nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to get the maximum health possible, the maximum amount of hearts that you can get in RL craft. I've had a lot of you guys ask me this question in the comments, so I thought I'd go through this really quickly for you today. Now, you're not gonna be able to do all this straight away, some of which you're gonna have to do, you know, as you progress through the game. Heart containers are the first thing that you're gonna be using to maximize your health, probably. It requires magic level eight, and you need one experience level to use it. Heart containers can be crafted with heart, uh, heart crystals, heart crystal shards, and then heart crystal shards can be crafted with heart dust. Heart dust, heart crystal shards, and heart containers can be found in uh, battle towers, dungeon chests, etc. But you can also mine heart crystal shards um, quite commonly at fairly high up Y levels in caves, etc. So if you see these in caves, make sure you mine them if you're in the early stages of the game. Heart containers can only give you a maximum of 10 extra hearts though. So if we're gonna use these 10 hearts here, we'll see, uh, we get a full extra row. We've used our 10 hearts, we got a full extra row. However, we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna move on to baubles. Now baubles, I've just picked some random baubles here, baubles that you might have looted from dungeons or have gotten somehow. So obviously these aren't gonna be the best baubles in the game. More likely you might actually be able to pick some of these up early game and start using them. Primarily these two, the heavy tool belt and the light arrow quiver can both be crafted quite easily. Um, and so you can make this really early game. So this can be a really nice way to get early additional hearts because these things are reforged with leather. And yes, we're gonna be reforging baubles. So you can craft these early and you can reforge them with leather. So you can see I can reforge that. So what you'd be looking for when reforging is either undying, which is the best. It gives you damage resistance, max health, and magic shielding, which reduces magic damage. Um, or, you know, if you're limited on your reforging resources, uh, maybe it's early game as an example, you can look for the healthy one as well, which gives you plus two max health. They give you the same amount of health each, undying and healthy. However, undying gives you the extra damage resistance and the magic shielding. So if we slap these baubles on, they all have either hardy or, uh, hardy or undying. So you've got all of those uh, there giving you max hearts. So there you can see now we, our hearts have increased by quite a bit. But they also have the hardy trait um, with regards to baubles. So baubles have two qualities, or I call them one quality, one trait. The quality would be undying or healthy. And the bauble trait would be, uh, would be hardy. Uh, and you do the traits in the second reforging station, this one. And this costs experience levels. Now this can be kind of expensive. There's a couple things to look for though. You've got hardy, which gives plus one heart. You've got half-hearted, which gives you plus half a heart. But you've also got menacing, which gives you plus 8% extra damage, which is kind of pog. Um, so I often go for men a mix of menacing and hardy for the secondary traits. I think you might even be able to. So this is actually a shield and a bauble. You can put this in your shield slot, and it would still give you the heart. And then you could put, say, an obsidian skull here. Um, if the Obsidian Skull had the correct traits on it, you'd obviously have Undying and Hardy on here, and you'd get even more hearts that way. Um, now, the Baubles can be a bit, little bit tricky. Um, it's acquiring early game and both reforging uh, them, because not everything is an easy resource to reforge. Now, ones that I'm aware of that are easy, this Obsidian Skull, as an example, is done with Obsidian. Uh, okay, I thought it was. Uh, well, the Obsidian Shield, let's get that for you. The Obsidian Shield, uh, that's the reason I thought it could be done that way. The Obsidian Shield can be done with Obsidian. So say you've got the Obsidian Shield, right? You can you can reforge this with Obsidian. That's pretty easy. Um, so you'd get that up to Hardy, uh, and you'd put, you know, put, put this on here as well. You'd get Hardy on here, and you'd get uh, Undying or Healthy on there. And slap that in, and you'd get an extra heart as well. Now, <clears throat> some of these baubles can be a little bit difficult to reforge. So really, really quickly, anything can be reforged with a nether star. Anything can be reforged with a nether star. If you have an abundance, great. Although you probably don't if you're early game. Potion rings can be reforged with gold. The emerald necklace and ring, I don't know if you'll end up actually utilizing this, but the emerald ring and the emerald necklace can be done with emeralds. The tool belt and the quiver can be done with leather, of course. Most of the baubles can be done with Spectral Silt. So Spectral Silt can be used to reforge most of these. Spectral Silt doesn't have that many uses. I mean, it's, it's um, you know, it's you can craft a couple of okay baubles with it. So some of the baubles you can acquire this way. 
and spectral silt will be used to reforge some of these baubles. Uh, and you can actually get spectral silt with a disintegration tablet. This is fairly easy to craft. You just craft a disintegration tablet like that, and then you can use that disintegration tablet to break down other baubles into spectral silt. One thing to take note of as well is that these runes, which are only cosmetics apart from the purple one, the, these are only for cosmetic stuff, can be turned into spectral silt. You loot these a lot from dungeons, so they can give you a fair amount of spectral silt, which you could use to reforb, reforb, reforge some of these baubles, like the cross necklace, obsidian skull. Um, I believe the balloon needs, uh, needs spectral silt as well. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of ways that you can increase uh, your health through reforging. Now, for the final element, uh, which is strength and vitality. Strength and vitality is the number one largest increase that you'll get from your health. And that is a enchantment for the chest. Goes up to strength and vitality five. Best way to find this is from villagers realistically. And if you slap that on, you'll see we get a lot of extra health. So if the last thing, uh, if I did have, if I did have the undying or hardy and healthy bo uh, bubble traits on this shield, and I were to use that, I would get two extra hearts. So you can get up to five rows and three extra hearts, and I believe that's the maximum health you can possibly get in RL craft. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day, except Mondays and Fridays I usually take for editing. I also run an RLCraft 2.9 SMP server you'd be welcome to join. All you got to do is jump on the Twitch channel, that is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy, earn 3,000 channel points, redeem the channel point uh, whitelist redemption thingy, and then you'll be welcome to join us. All right, guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.